Hello. Hello. Hello, Mr. Morris. Hello, Mr. Morris. Hey. The one came around yesterday and got the got the flag. He coming up with it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh okay, cool, cool. Huh? Yeah, wow. Hell. Yeah. Well, you first. Well, that's that's uh, that's a long. Right. Yeah. You need a bit of bit of. Cool. Cool. That's cool. Yeah. No. I'm, hey. Yeah, well, it just started to rain this morning. I just heard it, and that what woke me up. Goodbye, is it? Yeah, I was listening to it too. I was listening to that. I heard them talking about uh, about uh, uh, a little bit about, about what we're doing. Yeah, keep to ourselves. We keep to ourselves now. Yeah, yeah. Nah. Oh, okay. The one of you. Okay. There's some water. Oh, All right. There's some water down home, Rotoria. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, your flag gonna look good on your car. It's gonna. They're gonna get out of the road now. <laughs> they're gonna get out of the road. They'll say. Far out, that fellow's got some new flags. Where did you get that from? <laughs> They're only just starting to make it now. Yeah? Yeah? Wow. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Yeah, well, that's what oh, that's what it's supposed to be. Ah, yeah, mate. You'll have to. Now you better to just jump in the river, mate. Just jump in the oh, river and have a yeah, have a swim. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's what's that's what's happening. That's what I say. Even with the baking soda and and um, what you call it, the uh, yeah, well, salt. It's I'm in a. You try it, man. I'll tell you what. It'll it'll make you feel a lot better. It's it it. it, it It'll be like just what happened there. <laughs> yeah. It'll clean you out, man. It'll clean you out. That's, that's, you know, it's just that's, the little bugs are eating you. That's why. <laughs> you get rid of them, tell them, get, get out. <laughs> oh, that's good, you fellas. Where have you been driving to? Right up to um, um, Morewa. You go up that way. When you first go and you do your rounds up to Moirewa, do you first go? Oh, all around there. You go down to Fidanaki up that way? No. Yeah. Yeah? Far out. Don't we all get Hell. Hell. You first 
need a tent to sleep on the way. <laughs> Camp on the way. Yeah, I know. That's a, that's a long way. Yeah. It's too, too, it's too much for, for her on her own. A job like that. It's, it's too much lifting. Lift, lifting, you know. amount of work to do. Steaming away. Yeah, yeah, I'll look today, eh? I'll look today. Diesel or petrol? What do you want, a diesel or petrol? I prefer the petrol. The petrol, okay, the petrol one. Yeah. Yeah, the petrol, pet diesel. Yeah, yeah. And noisy. The, the petrol one is quieter and, and you're better off of that, actually. No, I don't agree with that. I do want a diesel one for a good price. Yeah, oh, well, I'll have a look today. I'll have a look today. Mm. Yeah. Now I'm heard. I heard them talking about Rangiriri. You know, they're looking. They've been watching what I've been talking about Waikato and and all those things on the radio. That's why I want to have a little listen what they're talking about. And so I I, I know they're watching what I'm putting on. You see, they're watching what I'm I've been putting on on the videos. And uh, and they're getting all their. That I can hear they they're starting to talk. The old fellow got on. And he was talking, I can hear what he's talking about, uh, about those old days, you know, about, about, and they had a little talk about Rapa Nui, you know, how they got the island back and they think that they've got a plan to get this place back, see? That's what I heard, yeah, I heard them talk a little bit about uh, East Island, um, and so they were looking at how did they do it, see? But other than that, I'm, I'm really... Uh, and they're talking a little bit about Ratna and all this. See, they got a big problem to undo themselves. They got a, they, they, and and if they keep talking about Maori, it's going to be very difficult to get out of it. You see, because the Pakeas are cunning. They put the Maori in it so that they're locked in, and they can't they can't run away from their Maori side. See, that's what I heard in Maori. I can pick up what they're talking about, uh, and and, uh, and know. They're watching the stuff I've got on Facebook. Must be a few few people watching. But anyway, for us, it's just it's just clearing the way. We don't have to we don't have to do much. It's them that that will go and you know they were talking about uh, about uh, Jacinda Ardern and and uh, uh, Calvin Davison and how how they how they are going to uh, handle it. See how how do they change back into the old native? They might, don't worry about them. We're all right. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure I, I got my stuff ready here. By the time uh, the third, when the office is open of the uh, 
internal affairs. That's what I've got my head on. But if I get a bit of time, I'll, I'll, I'll jump on the bus and come up. I'll, I'll let you know. Just for a couple of the two, two, two or three days or something. We're going to have a drive around. We're going to have a drive around. Yeah, oh, yep. Those would be the busiest times. Yeah, it is, it is. Yeah. Well, there's a tourist up here and all that sort of thing. And it's just wrong. It's so full. Yes. She can't argue with any tourists. She just pick it up and carry on. Yeah, I can see that. Oh, yeah, so that's why I'm out there helping you, you know? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Big job. I really, you know, I'm not going to be able to help That's what it looks like. Hmm. Where you first having? Where you first having Christmas at home or or at the relations? Were you having Christmas day at your relations or with the family or at your place? Oh, no, I mean uh, dinner, lunch. I think we're going to McDonald's for you now. Oh, yeah. We're going to have a McDonald's and chill outside the fucking place. Oh, okay. Outside the place. 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 Outside the You see them every day. You see them every day. You're better off to go and talk to the birds in the bush. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Now, if you have a clean out, you'll find yourself a bit better, walking better. That's what it is. That's quite a bit. Taking them all the time. You'll have to take them all the time. Oh, okay. 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 So. So right. So that's what that's what you do. Well, uh, see how long it lasts until it comes back again. Oh, well, it's not going to solve the problem, but I mean, mm. well, I, I don't want to be addicted to any sort of pill. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, it's good. I don't want to be a problem, but I mean, I can only do everything that I just don't want to be kidding me. Yeah, 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 it puts a strain on everything else. But yeah, it's yeah. working for now. At least it's working yeah. as a bit of relief for you over Christmas. But other than that, you've got pain all the time. No, well, no. Mm. Well, that's... Yeah, well, it's good. Yeah, the 
you gotta stop them and go down the line dog scene. Go down the line dog scene. Hold it. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll let you know. I'll, I'll sort out. I'll sort out those other blocks up 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 the line at Mary Ann's if I I've got I've got those pictures here. Yeah, That's what I said. That's what I said to Dawn. I said to Dawn, get the family together and I'll come up. But that's what I, t I told her before she went. I said, you, yeah, well, when they, if they if if they if they can meet somewhere, then I'll come up. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll just come up in the bus for a ride, just to have a little break. Oh, like, that'd be good. Like, uh, that'd be good. No, I'll pick up here and follow you here. Just tell, just, just let them know when. That'd be good, you know, and then you can sit down and have a book and you can play with it and see what the hell's going on. Yeah, just something like after Christmas Day or something. Um, um, another day after that or something. Okay. Yeah, well, just let them know and then I'll shoot up. I'll just come. Yeah, yeah, that'll be good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I can tell them what. Yeah, I'll come to church. I'll get to church on time. <laughs> Yeah, I'll do that now. Okay? I'll give you a buzz. I'll give you a buzz when I when I find one. Okay. Okay then. Cheers, bye. Hi, Mary. Bye. That one made it. I'm listening to it. Now see, <clears throat> it's like this. Māori are in a dilemma because the Pākehā have made that up. They made their tribe up, Māori. They got the copyrights to it, they got the patents to it, they can do what they like to it. They can make you jump up and down and there's nothing they can do about it because that's what they've been doing all along, is making sure that Māori didn't get representation in Parliament. They limited them, that they even allowed one or two of them in, but not to grow any bigger. And I just see that Willie Jackson, he's in the Labour Party, he's there to break the Māori Party up, you see? That's the white Māori, I can say that on this because he's been a bastard to me all these years at that radio station, Wate. Now that he's gone, he says, oh, I didn't want to be in the radio anyway. You see, that's his attitude. It's real arrogance, ignorance. And that's what Māori are, Pākehā side. Right? The good thing about that is he kept his Jackson name. I've got nothing against that. It's when they start dicking around with their names like Paraoni and making Brown into Paraoni. That's the part I don't like because that's the man, Peter Paraoni, that is cutting off our whakapapa and giving it to the Pākehā. That's where the problem is, right there in Waitangi Marae and Titi Marae. That's where the sellout is. And that's... <coughs> being straight with you, people watching these videos that I make. The problem in New Zealand is that Māori was a tribe invented by Pākehā, the New South Wales New Zealand Company. 
That's what it was called. The New Zealand Company was registered in England and they shot over there to get rid of the Manukau Company, the Manukau name, the commercial landowners of this country, to Britain. Now, the Maori made their own New Zealand Company. And then, along the way, they changed it to the Manukau and Waitamata Company. Stole the Manukau name and put it in the Manukau Waitamata Company. Changed it, like how they're doing now. Changed their name. Always changing names and get rid of the other company before that. No. We're backtracking on all their companies in audit. We're auditing all the books, the Moai Crown, King William IV Trust. Auditing all the books and Na Atua Ewa Altair Limited, company registered in New Zealand, one of a trillion shares, plenty to go around. You know? That was the most you can ever get in shares. It's been made like that so that you can renew the shares if you run out. They'll run out at £25 a share each. At the present time, we're sticking the shares at £25 a share. And that's reasonable. And one mobile phone. That's all you need. £25 and one mobile phone. Any phone. The number replaces the birth certificate. Birth certificate. Yeah. The name in capital. Birth certificate. And a credit of one trillion pounds to replace that at one million, one hundred million pounds that the government here, one million, one hundred million dollars here of what it's this capital letter name one or my, my name and this name called O1 is worth. <coughs> right, you get that? This is this New Zealand company changed its spots to the Manukau Waitamata Company to take Referefa Manukau's title of his Manukau Marae at Waiuku, joined it up to Kaipara from the Manukau Harbour to Kaipara Harbour to the Awaroa Native Court where they had a 10 acre block with the flag, this flag flying on it. I was there at the time. And then to Hokianga Harbour joined up with that Mangungu Methodist Church and the Mangungu Mission House. <coughs> See? These the Mangungu Mission House belongs to the British and the Manukau Company. The Manukau Company. Manukau Company. Along comes these thugs, Wairamara and Manukau Company, and they have their Treaty of Waitangi, steal this flag, 1834 flag of Rewhare for Manukau contract. It's a private contract flag. They're tampering with that came out of the 1820 to 1830, King George and Te Rawaikato Whare Here Here contract, private, magistrate in Mangatautari, Waikato. And that contract <coughs> went into Okeana, 1823, right? From 1823. That would be about the time that Te Rewaikato Wharehere Here in Manukau signed this country away to King George IV. The whole country and the Pacific Islands because his island was Rekuhu as a country <coughs> and that included all the Pacific Islands. Discovery on the Moai 300 AD title. Okay? So now, this thief Maori 
stretch back <coughs> from 1945, that was when the Maori word was created, and the Maori language was created in 1945. Then they stretch us back to 1835, as if they were in 1835, these Maoris. You go into the British side, there's no Maoris. There was no Maoris in the British right up till 1945. Not one single Maori in the British language and titles. Just native. Just native. <coughs> Moriori. That's about it. Because nobody else went to England to sign documents. Okay? To make trade in this way. That's why no one can talk for it other than fly it around. But they can't talk to it. They don't know the full quick. So anyway, this <coughs> Monica Waitamata Company reinvents itself from the New Zealand Company, just at the whim, get rid of that, and put Waitamata Monica Company. And then they had this 1835 Declaration of Independence. They sold this flag in 1834 and made their own stories up to connect themselves, reach back in time, use the whakapapa of the hapus, join them all together. Right? This, 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 this is, this is Ngāpui. Only Ngāpui started this um, flag off up there with Ref Ref Manukau. Right? Ref Ref is from 1830 with King William IV to 1837 period of his reign. Laws on 19 pages, A4 pages. That's it. The laws of what we use is in Ref Ref Manukau's time with this flag. His ancestors' private contract of admiralty, magistrate, court, martial, law. Pirate flag for anybody who got on the road gets hung. Okay, that's about to happen again. And so, this Waitamata, 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 Waitamata Company, Bodgy, up this 1945 war, sent the Maoris off the war. When they came back, their land was sold and split up into blocks. From that time on, all these stories about the Maoris came under this Waitamata and Manukau Company. Okay? <coughs> now, at Waitangi, they had their Treaty of Waitangi in 1840, and then they went back from there to Hokianga, to Mangungu, back to that mission house, and then they opened it up for themselves. Then they went up and pumped a memorial up on top of Hori Takuri's Urupa gravesite above Tahege Marae. No records of it, nothing, just plain, no history about what that memorial stone with all the whakapapas on to Rahiri and all out underneath this Maori title. Now, all this racket was put together in the Kuipara <coughs> with this here under the Freemasons and Mohi Manukau in the period of his Mohi Rogan uncle, the Mohi Temati Manukau the first the second, the third, and William Monaco, the fourth, who I am the executor of. All that Monaco Whakapapa from Maunga Totori. Now, I'm going to tell you this while I'm on this subject. Mohi Monaco and I spent six years, I stayed at his place. We put all the titles together 
I wrote all this up. I put all the tribes along here. It starts off with Nga Atua Ewa. That's Nati Fatua. Right? That's Nati Fatua on its own. And then you've got Waitaha. Nati Fatua. Waitaha. Then Aotea. Then Ngāpuhi. And then Waikato. And then Te Arawa. And then Bahia. All in here. Now, no one's got this. No one's got this. And I'm the author of it. Okay, I mightn't look pretty, but I'm the author of all this history that's updated. It's updated. There's two sides of the Marika. This is the female side. The other real side down in Maunga Totally is the male line dominant side of a king. This is the queen side. All the history here on this side is the Queen Elizabeth and Queen Victoria side. But this is the King's flag of Hapu. That's why this never got off the ground. Because it borrowed the title of the Manukau's in Mangatotari. Right? Punga Punga. Kahu Punga Punga. Hapu. They're the real commercial landowners of this country under Tera Waikato Wharehere and Manikau's commercial contract title in Edinburgh Magistrate Court. Okay, you got that? Not this. Not this one. Because Mohi, though he was a Freemason, it was the party of outside of him that took the title and the money. And he went straight down through Hamilton, through, through Manukau, here in Auckland, straight down to Pirongia and then straight to Ratna in Manganui. He never went the other way to Mangatauteri. He kept right away from there. My in-laws from there, Mehinui's, Aotearoa, they're in uh, uh, on the way to Rotorua, uh, Tapapa, and Okarari. Yeah, I know that place. That's where I met my wife back then, Okarari. And I spent a lot of time in Okarari with the Ogles and all those people there. Okay, so I know all about Putaruru and Tokoroa, Kinleys. I'm a mechanic there in the bush. In the workshops, heavy duty mechanic. So anyway, back on track. Mohi Manukau spent a lot of time with me traveling on my little car up and down the country. And then he told me all about Kafaru the Giant from Altair, Raglan, Whangaro, there, to Whangaro up north and the connections of Bethlehem for Manukau. Although he didn't say much about Terawakato in Manukau, but he did mention Terawakato and he wrote it in the title. Transfers, okay? I do transfers in real estate before. And so away we went, <coughs> gathering all the information and recording it. Everything's here on videotape the big ugly old Sonio videotape and the big big cassette thing. You put the cassette big cassette in, I've got them here. I've got to get them transferred into stick form. Uh, I've got to you know, get a machine to do it. Anyway, Mohi Marco <coughs> fashions the titles inside the Confederation of Chiefs, the 1835 Declaration of Independence. I went through a lot of time with that and then tried to hard sell it to the people at Titi Marae and Waitangi Marae. We went for ages trying to sell this concept and no one was listening. If they did, they wouldn't be in the trouble they're in now. They would, they would never be in the trouble they are now because no one 
was listening to this to bring them together. So I decided, right, <clears throat> I'll bring the whole world together and wear this flag away. I'm assuming that it went to 250 countries. It's not for anybody to say. It was everything in this flag of Admiralty and Magistrate Courts is private, nobody's business. It's still private. Nobody can tell me, where did you go? <coughs> I'll say, well, where did you go? They'll say, well, how, how come you got 970 million trillion trillion pound note? I says, well, tell me how much it is that you've got and where you got it from and where you get your authority from and your jurisdiction to do that. Come out of here. See? So, well, he couldn't talk like that. He couldn't talk figures, banks, mortgages, lens, and transfers of title. He could only tell whakapapa. That's about all he did, and that's about all the Maoris are good at whakapapa, not titles. So, anyway, <coughs> the, uh, this so-called memorial, that's what I'm thinking is Waitaha tampering with this contract. In this Waitaha bit here, that's Pākehā before 1820, that were bouncing around on the land with no authority. I can cut them off at 1840. You're all cut off at 1840 under the New Zealand Constitution Act, 86, and the Treaty of Waitangi, or Te Tiriti o Waitangi. It's all bullshit. But that's your legacy. You're stuck to 1840. You cannot go into 1835-1834 only the Maui Crown King William IV Trust and a contract to Reef Reef Manukau on the book. Reef Reef Manukau, you've seen it enough times. The receipt says so. Reef Reef Manukau. It's for anybody to say who's Reef Reef Manukau. Right? It belongs to Kahu Punga Punga. Hapu in Maungatauteri, that's their mountain, Maungatauteri. All that area, all the whole of the Waikato region belongs to Pongaponga, Hapu, the Moriori's, way back. Right? The unknown, the ones not talked about. You won't find any history on that anywhere, or the Manukau, Ref Ref Manukau, not a single thing. Yes, all their treaty claims are on Manukau's name. No Ref Ref Manukau, no Kirawakato Wharehire in Manukau. Not at all. Anywhere online. They've removed it all from this end and Britain. I've been scouring around trying to find some connection. It's been well and truly obliterated off the universities. Right? The only thing is me, my word against yours, from my own competent witness information that you have to Tell me, where did you get your information from? I'm telling you where I got my information from. And if you can't tell me on the 18th of the 19th, Friday the 19th of January 2018, I'm having a court hearing again in Tungawaka Marae Native Magistrate Court. If you don't come from Ngāti Whātura o Ōraki, Ngāti Whātura o Kaipara, Ravna Church from New Zealand Police, CIB, from the government, Prime Minister, the Governor General, the um, um, Police Commissioner, Bush, Mike Bush, and from <coughs> Auckland City Council, Phil Goff. Prime Minister, Jacinda Ardern, I'm, I'm calling you for on this video, I made a statement right here, that you have to come to that hearing with your titles in front of me, who you are. I want you to identify who you are. I already identified who I am, the Moai Crown, from East Island. We've got our island back. How did that happen? See? Now, you've got to tell me where you got your titles from, 
Who gives you authority? Your seal to Westminster? Parliament? Government? Your seal to the Queen? I want to see those before you can tell me what to do on these lands. I want you to show me your title, transfer, who you transferred it from, to your land information newsletter company. I want Don Grant to be there from Australia, came here and altered, tampered with this contract of Refle for Manukau's, Refle for Manukau, on his titles to Auckland with this receipt. I want you to tell me who gave you the authority to be governing this country. I want, I want you to explain this rejection of the Manukau, Refle of Manukau title on your Lynn's title. Okay? These are all facts. I want you to explain why Refle for Manukau here is not on your titles that I asked for. Okay? His name is in capitals, the same way as mine. I want you to explain to me what that's all about. Okay? Nasfata Oraki, I want you to explain to me what that is all about. Okay? And that's all about. That's a receipt for Auckland. How Auckland started. Then there's the original receipt with Ref Ref Manukau name here. I want you to tell me where is all the history for this. This is a British receipt for the whole of Pukekohe and you've drawn your titles out of Waiuku and Ref Ref Manukau's Marae Magistrate Court. You have to tell me where's the history and the proof because I'm holding these against you. I'm holding these against you and Tung Waka Marae with Enik Hakaraya. She's the boss of that Tung Waka Marae Native Magistrate Court holding the meeting and court hearing against all you people I just named. <coughs> in, including <coughs> the iwi, Maori iwi, <coughs> CEOs, including Tiwana Temple, your name's coming up, Tiwana Temple, for all the scam that you put together in that Natifata Ourake fabricated Kafaru's history, because I bought Ross on a kafru up to One Tree Hill and there's the rejection of your Lynn's office turning down my request to put the title of Netflix Manka on your title and you refuse and then I went up One Tree Hill with the real Kafaru's and put this up, the plaque on his memorial stone, Kafaru Junk of Alte, Raglan, Whangaro, Tingairi, his father, and his baby up in Puatahi Marae, in the Kaipara, where Nanny Glavis stolen that Marae, in the name Puatahi, that's Kafaru's baby. I know everything about the Kaipara and who's crook and who, Neda, your time is over at fooling around with this whakapapa. You fellas tried to shut me down on a 10 acre block with your flat in Helensville. You and your family, the Poe family <coughs> and your lavish family and all the rest of those families tried to shut me down. And Mohi just said, no, that's the Kafaru title to the Auckland. I'm holding you people against. That made it into a footpath right over his grave and just left his memorial stone there and hid the plaque somewhere. So I made a new one. This is the plaque for the title of Auckland.
I'm holding right here <coughs> to obliterate all of that. Iwi Maori Confederation of Chiefs 1835 with this 1834 title to Britain. I think the British title in Hokianga is the real title to this country. And that memorial that's stuck right there beside Hori Tikuri, between Hori Tikuri and Morris Baker, he was just on the phone to me just now. His two punas are sitting right here, the stone is right there, and this stone with the whakapapas on is stuck right there. You have to tell me, you people that put it there, have to tell me who did that and whose title did you use over these ones? The Rogan, the Wanaws, and the Manukau's titles. Mm -hmm. You have to tell me who stuck it there, what for, and under whose jurisdiction of authority. You'll find that it's the mischief Browns, the Ratna Church Brown, Hayward Brown, you, I'm holding you, liable for defrauding the people of New Zealand and defrauding these people from Pungapunga, Kahu Pungapunga, in Mangatauteri Mountain, with the real title to this whole country, I'm seizing back on that basis. If you don't turn up Hayward to that hui in Tuunga Wakamarai, Native Magistrate Court, then I'm afraid you lose all your status in Ratna. And it goes back, the British will swipe this whole place like they did with Kororareka. Swipe the whole lot of you and the whole South Island. Anyway, that's what's going to happen. Libel you Pakehas for fabricating the history of Bethere for Manukau and Terawakato for the Hede in Manukau and his Hapu people who were here in the first place. The birth certificates of the Manukaus are here 1830 and 1831, 1834, The original birth certificates forms the basis of the title. Now unless you got one of those, you ain't got any original title under the British Westminster system because that's where everybody has come from out of. The Westminster government and parliament is how you got on these lands in the first place. So the tempering of title is what I'm using against all the people I'm named here and including Peter Peroni, the chairman of the uh, Waitangi National Trust. You, you're getting the 970 million trillion trillion pound note on your head. Okay? You, you, you've got this note on your head <coughs> with everybody else. There's a day. King Ernest Augustus the fifth, reigning monarch, sovereign authority, <coughs> King of Britain, UK, Hanover, our team is in the Pacific Islands and the 250 countries of the world under this flag. Now, no one's going to tell me what to do with this flag because it's a contract with those two chiefs I'm telling you about. Nobody else. Nothing to do with Maori. And there's a trillion pounds on this birth certificate here. That on the government here. A trillion pounds on every birth certificate in the world. Okay, there's 6.7 billion people. If there's 6.7 billion people in the world, there's 6 billion people times 1 trillion pounds underneath that 970 million trillion trillion pound note there. That's just that. That's not the land that's been stolen. That's not the water, the air that's been poisoned, the food that's been poisoned. That's still inside this. So everything valued up in New Zealand, I'm valuing up all everything in New Zealand and stick it against that to bankrupt the whole of you. The same way as they bankrupted America in 1933. The memorial is standing on Mount Eden Hill, 1933. Go and have a look. Have a look and read 1933, the survey. The survey mark that forms the basis of these Freemason titles. 
Okay? That's in Edinburgh, Scotland, where my St. Mary's Church Holy Grail is. There, to Tiki Tiki, on my Rahui Marae native court in Tiki Tiki. My Wano family is there buried, the whole heap of them. Okay? That's that title to Rogan's and to Rogan's Manukau, to this country, apart from Maui at Tipito on the land blocks, the Haha -ha. <coughs> land blocks. That's my title. Try and argue. Come to Te Ungawaka Marae and bring your titles. You'll have to prove that your Maori was a tribe that was real. I'm saying it's an illusion. It's not real, people. It was made to fool you so that the Pākehās could take most of the titles to the land. That's what they've got right now. Okay? They've been successful right up to that point where it's only leased land. Now, we can cut the lease if they're found to be fraudulent with that. And that's what's going to happen. I'm proving that the whole thing is a fraud. There is a fraud. And there's your answer. This king is the king of Britain, UK, Hanover. That's our oath of office. King Ernest Augustus V, reigning monarch. Salic law forbids women to succeed to the throne under this contract. To King George IV, King William IV, King William III, King George IV, and King Ernest Augustus I, and his successor, King Ernest Augustus V, living in London. Oath of office. <coughs> okay. <coughs> now Moira Hoffman, Russell, Lobo, Morris Baker, and myself, Hawani Kahaki Wānoa, have a private contract going on here for you to refute, any of you to refute these power notes are authenticated and they'll be authenticated again by the British Foreign uh, Affairs and uh, Internal Affairs of New Zealand. Tera waka tō whare, here here in Manukau, and Hongi Hika, right there, in Cambridge, England, and Tera waka tō in Edinburgh, signing the contract. Let me say, this is a commercial trading 